Hey everyone, this is Joe from Synergy 17 and today I want to show you how to um, take portraits and make them into uh, black and white images so you can either cut your vinyl or in my case I like to laser engrave them. So um, it's not too difficult if you have Corel. So I'm going to kind of show you how to do it. So I went online and I was just looking for some celebrity photos and um, I wanted to try to pick something that everybody would probably know. So uh, I chose Elvis here. I tried, you know, um, some other characters, but this one was pretty simple to do. So here's a photo of him, and what I'm going to do is it's about 24 inches. I'm going to go ahead and shrink him up a little bit. And what the first thing you want to do is you want to, you know, take the bitmap and go into Edit Bitmap, and that'll launch Corel Paint. And once Paint comes up, um, I'm going to zoom out. And so what you, there's a few things you can do. You can knock out your background. Um, you could highlight parts. Uh, that's another good thing is you want to kind of bump up your contrast. So you can use tools like the dodge and burn. So for example, on the effect tool, uh, it says custom dodge and burn. Um, burn kind of makes your darker darker and dodge kind of makes your lighter lighter. Or you could um, adjust uh, your tone and balance. Those kind of things right there will kind of um, make the contrast really high. Uh, this one's actually perfectly fine, so I don't really need to do anything. So um, what I want to do is you go to Image, and you say Convert to Black and White. And what I want to do is I want it to be Line Art. So when I choose Line Art, you can see, I can see part of his eyeball right here. And this is your threshold. This is kind of like how much of it is going to be um, darkened up and, or how light it will be. So it depends on how much kind of detail you want. I'm going to kind of keep it here in the middle. So let's just put that back right around there. And you can kind of see. So right there, I'm going to hit OK. So now I got this kind of look. Uh, the problem is that it's very choppy, and you kind of don't want to cut that with your uh, with your engraver, or sorry, or with your uh, cutter. It'll be kind of difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of here. And it says, do you want to save it? Yes, I do want to save it. And then let's go back into Corel. So now I have the image here in Corel. Well, now that we have it, it's still, if I go to wireframe, it's still, it's still a, a bitmap. So we still need to convert it over to a vector art. So what I want to do now is I want to take this and, um, since it's still a JPEG, I want to um, go into bitmap and I'm going to do an outline trace. I'm going to just go ahead and choose detailed logo since uh, I can tweak the parameters once I get inside. Uh, it's basically telling me that the bitmap is too large and so it wants to reduce it, which is fine. It's going to go through here and do the best it can at tracing it. And what it's doing right now is it thinks it wants to remove the background. It thinks it wants me to remove the black, but I really don't. I want to actually remove the white. So I could actually click this and um, tell it to remove from the entire area. And I'll go through and try to remove all the white, which is what I want to do. So if I zoom in, Okay, so one thing is it looks kind of uh, jaggedy to me. So what I want to do is I want to take my uh, detail and my smoothing. I want to bring my smoothing up. It's going to give me a little bit rounder edges. And I'm going to bump that up a little bit more. And then I'm going to take my corner smooth this and bump this up a little bit. You lose kind of your detail, but what it's going to do is give me a little bit smoother uh, rounded edges, which will be easier on my cutter. So I can kind of play around with this. A little bit more rounder. I, if I want more detail, I can bump up my detail a little bit. And that's all personal preference. See, when I did the detail, it kind of got this little spot right here, thinking it wants that. So I'm going to back that down again. Okay. So I think it looks good. So I'm going to say okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here, and you can see that this is my. Uh, actually, I'll bring it in again. That way you can kind of see all three of them. So there's the original color version, and here's the black and white version, and then here's my um, basically vectored version. I'll go to wireframe, you can see that. This is a bitmap, bitmap, and then this is the vectored version. So now I can take this, I can uh, cut it out on my laser, or I can put a piece of vinyl in and cut that out. And you can do this with portraits of uh, people or your pets or whatever you want. So hopefully this was useful.